Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Here in this video, we are going to be going over everything you need to know about GameStop stock heading into their earnings after the closing bell today. What the market makers are pricing in, what kind of move we are expecting as far as the options, and really what I've found over this past earnings season specifically is if the market makers are pricing in a move, that's typically what the stock does. The stock usually doesn't do a small move or a very big move if the market makers are not pricing it in. The market makers tend to have a lot more information than we do. So I think that's very relevant here for this video. Now we are going to go over the technicals, the Ortex data, the short interest, the option chain, all of that and everything you need to know here in this video. We will also discuss other stocks that could move in sympathy to GameStop. Hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel and uh, let's get started. So GME today surprisingly is actually in the red by about 0.1%. It's like a nothing day so far. That's because everyone's waiting for earnings coming out here in after hours. The fact that GME is not running today is actually better because if you run into earnings, that's not exactly a, a good situation. I think the stock was very oversold. Very People were very pessimistic. And then yesterday, people are like, oh, crap, earnings are like two days away. We probably shouldn't be this bearish. And that's probably why you've seen that 15.5% move yesterday. And that, I think, was just a corrective move to get back to some level of neutral in GME heading into GME's earnings. If you take a look at the RSI, the RSI is at 57.47. So you're just barely above neutral following that 15 and a half percent positive day yesterday that's pretty surprising now on a technical basis the stock actually looks really good heading into earnings at one point today you hit a high of about $15.60 the low was about $14.76 this candle right here that you're seeing so far is showing you there was a wide range to the upside and to the downside this tells me nobody really knows anything nobody really knows what's going to happen with the stock but you are expecting to see a very large move if we take a look at the options chain for gme i priced this in yesterday but i'll go ahead and price this in again what you're doing is you're taking the call at the money and the put at the money you're adding them together and then dividing by the stock price so basically if you were to buy you know a call at the money a put at the money how far would the stock have to move in either direction for you to break even and essentially that's what you're looking at here so if you take the 15 dollar call that is currently going for 158 dollars a dollar uh, 58 cents if you talk in options terms and on the put side it's going for roughly the the same which is actually uh pretty surprising that they're, they're almost in parity here so a dollar 58 and obviously depending on where you get filled you know it it could look different right but uh you're pricing in about three dollars 16 cents after earnings and uh go ahead and divide um that by the stock price fifteen dollars ten cents you're pricing in about a 21 percent move so not as high as yesterday that's a lot. You're pricing in 21%, okay? If you're playing the options in GME, you need to see a huge move or it's just not going to pay off. If you are playing the options in GME, I personally suggest, this is not financial advice, but if you're already speculating in options, just go out further. Get a couple months of time because that IV starts to not be as bad right the implied move uh is is not going to hurt as much if the stock does fall or maybe only rises 10 percent like if gme has good earnings and goes up 10 percent, you're still going to lose money so on a technical basis you actually look like you're set up in a pretty good spot you're above your 100 day moving average the low of the day today you found demand around that 100 day moving average so if i were to put my chips down on the table and say is the stock going higher or lower after earnings i think it's going higher now i think gme is in a little bit different of a category compared to other stocks like amc that's the one that's really going to move alongside gme most likely maybe a 50 percent 
move, 25% of the move, let's say GME goes up 10%, AMC may go up 2.5-ish percent. That would be my expectations. But GME is actually profitable. GME is in a weird position as well. There was news yesterday um, or over the past couple of days that Ryan Cohen's going to be investing GME's money into other equities on the market. And that can create a holdings company for GME, really pivot and transition the business, a smaller Berkshire Hathaway, if you will. Now that GME is also profitable, they can kind of fund more of that activity. I think the markets are kind of curious what direction this is going to go in. Are you, you know, going to chase AI stocks? Are you going to go for um, more stable companies, blue chip companies? How How is Ryan Cohen going to invest GME's capital? I think that's really what people are waiting for on the markets. And don't even get me started if Ryan Cohen says, He's uh, investing in AI stocks. <laughs> yeah, that could be pretty insane for uh, GameStop. And I think shareholders uh, would like that. At least the stock would probably like that um, following earnings. Your next big level to be watching for is that 200-day moving average at $17.02. According to the market makers, if you rally 21%, let's call it that, to the upside, GME is going to be sitting at roughly about $18.30 or so. 21% to the downside, GME is going to be sitting at, um, let's see, I have to even scroll it out. GME would be at about $12 per share. So that's what you're looking at um, following this report, most likely. GME could move a lot more than that on either direction, though. It really depends what is the not what is announced, and really what that EPS and profitability overall look like. Now, good news for the bulls in GME. The short interest is very high, 23.22%. You have $938.2 million currently sold short. Just yesterday alone, that 15% move cost the short sellers about $128 million in losses. So, I mean, the, the, the losses do start to pile on if GME does go higher from here, especially because the stock is so heavily short at low prices. It's not like the stock's at $20, $30, $40, $50 right now. It's at $14, or it was at $14. Uh, Now it's at $15, and it was even lower than that yesterday at some points of the day. But if you start to get a rally in GME, the losses can start to accumulate very quickly. Now, days to cover also is really good for GME. Let's just be honest. It's sitting at about 20. It was at 10 um, to really start March. So days to cover has exploded higher. And that's really because volume has been uh, very low in GME for a while, two to four million shares trading hands. That's that's some pretty low volume. It's definitely not like what you've seen back in December of 2023. GME was saying, you know, 10 plus million shares trading hands every single day. That's not now, but you are starting to get more volume coming into the stock heading into this earnings. If vol- if further volume comes back into the stock as well, following earnings, that can really be powerful to give the stock that next leg higher, especially if shorts do start to cover on short positions. Now, you're looking at 62.05 million shares that are currently sold short, 76.27 million shares currently out on loan, cost borrow fees 2.29%, utilization 84.87%, and a short score of 85.45 out of 100. So if GME puts up the right numbers, if they say the right things, you can most definitely go through a short squeeze with GME here. And it could be quite a large short squeeze if people do start to pile on. Again, back to the days to cover argument, it would take 20 days with this volume for shorts to cover on their short positions. If you get a volume influx, well, if it's a bullish volume influx, that is, the stock could go much higher from here. I think to some degree that's already priced into the options market though with the the market makers pricing in 21%. But I do think there is a possibility for an upside surprise there. Now, GME is the third most talked about stock on the day today over here on Stock Twits. And it's actually interesting because there's usually not uh, moments in time where the most talked about stocks 
are the stocks that are, you know, doing nothing on any given day. If a stock's down a lot or a stock's up a lot, people tend to talk about it. But not if the stock's, you know, up a third of 1%. That doesn't tend to get that much uh, talking points or attention. But GME is a little bit different. And again, that's probably because we're heading into earnings and people feel extremely bullish here. You can see with the sentiment, Today, it is at 86. Yesterday was at 78. Both days, yesterday and today, are extremely bullish, but today is even more bullish. Take a look Take a look at the message volume, though. Yesterday was at 77. That was extremely high. Now it's at 91, also extremely high. But 91 out of 100, and the stock is doing nothing today? Up four cents? Yeah, I think that's pretty dang impressive pretty dang impressive participation ratio is sitting at 57 so that is also ticking higher more people talking about gme potentially means more buyers of gme may step into the stock so all of this is uh pretty notable to be honest heading into uh gme's earnings now if you take a look at the options chain uh keep in mind the flow on gme is smaller than other stocks you may be used to. So these can uh, these these relatively small numbers are actually very important. Now, the $15 call has 10,282 for open interest. If you stay above 15, the market makers are pretty much guaranteed going to have to uh, start buying uh, shares of GME. And uh, you know, that, that's important. You do have to consider the break even here. So the break even for most of these market makers is uh, including the, the premium that's paid $172 on the $15 strike is what? $16.72 per share. So that's where the market makers would really start to buy a bunch of shares of GME. And that could be a million shares of GME, just that 10,000 call wall at the $15 strike, let alone $2,700 for open interest at the $1,550 strike, $4,400 uh, $4, for open interest at the $16 strike, $1,000 at the $1,650, $4,000 at the $17, $2,000 at the $1,750, and $5,300 at the $18 strike. So there is a, definitely some fuel here on the options chain to get some things moving in the right direction for GME. Again, it's really going to come down to earnings, but Ryan Cohen typically does not um, unimpress. He, he, he typically brings uh, a lot of good things to say on the conference call. And well, that's because he's one of the biggest shareholders in uh, GME. I believe he still is the biggest shareholder in GME. So he has a vested interest in how well GME does. And it's always a good thing when the CEO, when the person running the company you're investing in is also a big investor or the biggest investor or the founder yeah typically they're going to say or do the right things to you know uh get the right reaction out of the stock today today you also had durable goods orders month over month that came in at 1.4 percent positive beating expectations of 1.1 percent positive as well so a little bit better than expected on durable goods orders that just means the economy is not doing as poorly as maybe what last month's durable goods orders numbers suggest. Last month's durable goods orders were negative 6.1%. They were revised lower today to negative 6.9%. So a uh, really bad number for last month. This is still not a great number if you're looking at this month over month, but it's showing the economy is not terrible. Things are not awful out there, but they're not that great either. Really, again, suggesting the Fed could and probably should start to reduce rates and that's also going to have a positive effect on stocks like gme some of your other interest rate sensitive names you are seeing the 10-year treasury yield trading down almost two basis points today which is translating into some of your small cap stocks overall performing a little bit better now to the chart of gme if you break above that 200 day moving average you could run close to about $30 per share. The next level I'll be watching above the 200 uh, 200 day moving average is just a flat $20 per share. If you break above 20, then you start to get to the next level about 23.50 and then 25 
and then up here at about $28 or so. So above that 200 day moving average, you start to get into potentially larger upside. To the contrary, if you fall to the downside, you want to be watching this this pretty notable level at about $13 per share. That would be the level. You also have a gap to fill back down here to about $13.56 per share. And if you have bad earnings, that's probably where the stock is going. So let me know what you think about this information down below in the comment section. Hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel. You guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.